If you want it's Ellie Fox, today's video is going to be a video wear test review comparison between the NYX Lip Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks and the NYX Lingerie Push-Up Lipsticks Lip Pencil thing. Uh, basically, they came out with 12 new shades of lip pencil and they have the same names as some of their liquid lipsticks. So I thought, you know what? Let me put half half, which I'm already wearing because I had to do this earlier today because I wanted to wear them long enough for tonight. But uh, I wanted to also compare all the shades that I have so you can see, uh, are they the same color? Are they even remotely similar and how they compare formula wise throughout the day? So uh, I have them all in my little thing next to each other. And uh, for anyone that is in a hurry, overall the answer of are they similar, same color? But in more details, let's get to the swatches. <laughs> okay, so the first one is the color lace detail, and you can see that they are similar shades, but they're not exactly the same. Um, the pencil form is definitely more orangey, less nude, and there seemed to be some gold glitter in it. I really thought they were matte, and whenever I was swatching them on my lips, I convinced myself that I had probably used a wipe that had like glitter accidentally, and it was all my fault, but it seems to be the whole lipstick, so maybe I am not crazy. So uh, you probably, like even if I zoom you in a lot, you might not be able to tell because of the lighting. But uh, yeah, for some reason there's a little bit of gold glitter in there, but yeah, the colors are not the same. Then we have Silk Indulgent, which again, let me zoom you in quite a bit so you can see that clearly the liquid lipstick is way more pink and then the pencil is definitely more of a like salmon-y, orangey one. And there still seem to be some glitter in this one for whatever reason. So. Still not close in color, but I mean, I guess they're similar ideas, kind of, if you really want to stretch it. Then we have Push Up, which, uh, this one is definitely matte. <laughs> uh, the liquid lipstick, you can probably tell, is a little bit lighter and a bit, like a smidge more mauve but really, I think it's more that the other one is definitely warmer and more brown. I would call Push Up a pretty neutral color in the liquid lipstick formula. So yeah, again, not very similar, similar idea, but if they didn't have the same name, I wouldn't be here comparing them, clearly. Then we have Corset, which we're back at it with the gold glitter for some reason. They look so matte though, I'm, I'm so confused. Anyway, the liquid lipstick seems to be more of a gray, kind of grayish color, and the lip pencil is definitely a bit warmer. It's a gorgeous color, but again, if they didn't have the same name, we wouldn't be here. Then we have Lace Detail, which again, still some gold glitter, nothing too crazy, but it's there. Uh, the colors are similar, but again, the lip pencil form is definitely still a bit warmer, definitely more brown and less pink than the liquid lipstick. Then we have Bedtime Flirt, which is one of my favorite colors in both formula, but we can see that once again, the liquid formula is definitely pinkier, and the lip pencil one is definitely warmer brown. So this is the first half. Then you have Exotic, which the lip pencil is definitely redder, less nude, less brown than the liquid version. What from those though are very even and opaque and they like glide on and you get a full pigmentation. So that's definitely good, but yeah, again, not the same color. And then you have Seduction and surprise, surprise, the lip pencil is more red and the liquid version is more of a brown nude. Then we have Embellishment. The liquid lipstick is definitely more gray, kind of grayish purple. And the lip pencil has more purple, a bit more, like it's definitely more wearable, let's just say that. It's a bit more forgiving. But again, not the same color. Then we have French Made. My liquid lipstick version is starting to struggle a little bit. It's separating, so uh, it's not as opaque as it should be. Those are probably some of the closest one in shade. Uh, but again, the lip pencil is definitely more brown, darker, and just, I mean, it is more pigmented because my liquid lipstick is struggling, but still. Teddy is not too far off. Once again, my liquid lipstick is getting a bit old and separated, but uh, the lip pencil is warmer, darker, and more brown, and there's like just less of that purpley undertone to it. And then After Hours, probably the closest out of all of them. Not too far off, but again, I think the lip pencil seems a bit warmer brown than the other one. So as you saw from the swatches, most of these are just not even remotely similar, and if they didn't have the same name, we wouldn't be comparing all the shades, but uh, they're all pretty shades usually, so it's not that big of a deal, but just don't go into it thinking they're gonna be the exact same thing. However, if you enjoy the color, let's say from Exotic, from the liquid lipstick, but you don't like the formula, you wanna try something different, then it's not a bad idea to pick up the lip pencil version because they are 
similar-ish enough that I think it's worth a shot. Oh, and by the way, uh, in both cases, um, the liquid lipstick and the lip pencil, I did do a lip swatch video. They will be linked down below if you want to see what they all look like on my lips. Now let's go on to the wear test. So now I'm gonna be applying both lipsticks. I'm doing this before the clips, before I do my hair and everything, just because I wanna be able to wear the lipsticks as long as possible. It's early in the morning. Uh, so I want to be able to wear both of these for at least eight hours, just so you can see how they look like basically throughout the day, how much they transfer, how comfortable or uncomfortable they are, and how similar the colors are. Although we have seen them in the swatches, uh, on the lips it's always a little bit different. So, so let me quickly swatch it on my hand. Uh, these are known for being a bit drying. To be fair though, I do feel like uh, nude liquid lipsticks tend to be the ones that look the least attracting, attractive <laughs> on the lips. They always tend to look a little dry or like cracking and everything. It's just a lot more common. This color is a bit darker, so it's not really as bad. Uh, but if you've tried a couple liquid lipstick formula, you're gonna notice it's a pattern. Uh, but yeah, these are definitely known for being a little drying and looking a bit dry. Sometimes, not necessarily these ones, but some nude will also be kind of cracking on the lips, like crumbling. But uh, they came out with this version, which we're testing today to compare. Those are the NYX Lingerie Push-Up Long-Lasting Lipstick. So I chose again the color Exotic so we can compare them. So again, uh, swatching them, they are similar, not exact dupes. Again, you're gonna notice that on my lips, but I just wanted to swatch them so you can see it, let them dry, and I can do some removing test throughout the day. So, I'm using you in. But this is what the applicator looks like. It's one of those flat, very soft one. They kind of just smell like liquid lipsticks to me, like there's no like vanilla scent or anything. So, ooh, let's do this. Trying to be careful and not do like my last half half video and put all over my invisible one. That one was such a fail. If you haven't seen it, I was comparing the Giorgio Armani uh, Lip Maestro and the uh, L'Oreal Pro <laughs> Liquid Lipstick. What a fail, but it was funny, so it needed to go up. Voila, and then the other version, the pencil version, which again, reminder, there's the sharpener at the back if you want it. So you can probably tell with the lighting that this one is definitely redder, less nude. Uh, both of these were some of my favorite shades in the range. They have like a similar vibe, but yeah, the liquid lipstick is definitely more nude and this one has more red. If I had to choose a favorite color, I think I prefer the red one just because I feel like it's more flattering on my skin tone. But if you have more of a warm tan to deep skin tone, I definitely feel like this is a really great everyday type of color. Uh, I'm definitely feeling the tingly, minty feel on the lipstick side. However, there's no plumping happening. You're gonna see it, we're testing it right now, but I have worn these so far, you know, throughout the day. Didn't notice anything whatsoever, but you know. However, it's still uh, a nice feeling. It's not one of those very strong ones. It's just like feeling, making you feel a little bit fresh, like you just brush your teeth or something. So I don't mind it. Just by the time I applied both of the lipsticks on my lips, the liquid lipstick swatch on my hand is already fully dry, which is great because it's already transfer proof, which you're gonna see in a second, but uh, it means that they tend to be drier whenever they are like that. So you kind of have to choose whatever you prefer, but makeup wipe, let's see if I can remove it. I am rubbing so hard. Like you have to really, really try because otherwise if I just do it normally, you really have to like hurt yourself basically to remove it. So that's good. I mean, they're gonna stay on your lips. And the lipstick one is very easy to remove. Although there is a little bit of a stain usually left, you can see. So my prediction is going to be that this side is gonna be drier. It's not gonna feel as nice for as long, but uh, it will be completely transfer proof. And at the end of the day, it will still be like 99% there. But I think this might be a bit more comfortable. Although I still wouldn't call it a comfortable lipstick. But you know, we're gonna test that. So uh, last test before I go, transfer test. So, yeah. Uh, there's a tiny bit on this side, which was probably just not fully dry because I literally just applied it. There's a little bit on this side, nothing too crazy. It's still on my lips, didn't move. So we shall see how they perform throughout the day. I'll see you later. I'm having a little bit of curry for lunch and I'm already noticing lipstick going everywhere. 
most likely from this side, but it still looks fine. So I think it's just because it's not transfer proof and it's a little bit messy to eat this. Plus I'm wearing a white shirt, really. I, I'm testing my luck right now. But yeah, um, we shall see how they survive. But obviously after an hour, they're comfortable. I probably should have waited a bit, but still. Uh, there is some transfer on my glass, but nothing terrible. It's probably where I ended up putting some on my fingers and stuff, but yeah. So far, not too bad. I'll see you probably in a few more hours. Since I'm here, I have been wearing the lipsticks for about three hours. Usually I try to wait to have a meal as long as possible, like three hours or something, which I did not do because I was very hungry. So uh, the lipstick are starting to fade a bit more than they would normally in tests like this, but I wanted to do still the transfer test and everything. Let me do that and then after that, we'll do the close up. So transfer test, I removed everything, so. There's still a little bit on the uh, lip pencil side. Nothing crazy, probably just would notice it whenever you're drinking water, but not enough that it's, you know, all over your face, <laughs> like some of the one, like the last one we did. Uh, from close, you can see what they look like. I mean, when my mouth is closed and I'm not talking, you can't see anything really. If I had to choose a side that feels the driest, I think I will go with the liquid lipstick, but it doesn't feel dry yet. I am very, <laughs> I'm not very sensitive to dryness, generally speaking, but with the change uh, in weather, I mean, it's literally winter here already. Um, usually I'm a bit more sensitive, but so far so good. We shall see in a few more hours how it goes, but yeah, so far we're all good. So I am five hours in, I was eating and I realized I should update. Uh, they're looking fine, I think. I'm eating some veggies with some hummus, so it's probably decent test. I feel like I tend to lick my lips, so they should uh, be struggling a little bit, which is a good thing, right? Let me just bring you in front of the window so you can actually see much better. So this is what they look like. I'm actually kind of surprised how much this side has been like crumbling and disappearing. At In its defense, I'm just going to mention that this is like from when they came out. So it's definitely on the older side, so that could play into it. Uh, but yeah, I'm a little disappointed by how much crumble stuff is happening on that side. I'm struggling today, <laughs> you've probably noticed. Uh, this side is not feeling too bad. There's definitely still some transfer. Whenever I remove my Invisalign, which obviously is not something most of you will have to go through, but I have to put my fingers in my mouth, so I do feel like there's some transfer on my finger. But it has survived pretty decently. So, so far, pretty good. Uh, they're not feeling too dry, which is surprising, because sometimes I remember like, I actually tried to film this video once and it didn't work out and after three, four hours my lips were feeling dry but they were dry to begin with so I think it will definitely depend on how your lips are in general. Mine usually are not dry so yeah so far it's still going pretty good. Um, I will see you in a couple more hours I guess. Okay so I've been wearing both of the lipsticks for a little over uh, eight hours now, almost nine and I wanted to update you one last time to show you what they look like. Um, they're both still on my lips clearly. But uh, let me do one transfer test and then we can do a close up. So, quickly. I just finished eating. So, there's a tiny bit of transfer even on the liquid lipstick side, probably because, again, drinking and water and stuff. And uh, a little bit more on the lipstick side. Nothing crazy. It doesn't seem to uh, remove the lipstick like it would if it was like a cream lipstick or something. So, let me zoom you in. So, this is what they look like from close. The liquid lipstick side faded a bit more than expected and I feel like this side ended up resisting more than I thought it would. I would say that both of these formulas are on the drying side. I personally don't really mind it for, you know, a couple of hours or, you know, once in a while. Might not be an everyday lipstick formula for me during the winter and uh, it will depend on, you know, what you're comfortable with. I do think that this is actually lasting decent amount of time. I feel like I'm very happy with the longevity. Uh, we saw that there was no pumping effect though, which I always kind of have an issue whenever there is a claim that, you know, doesn't live up to that claim, but the minty feel is nice. At this point, they're still comfortable. I could definitely still uh, wear them for a couple of more hours, but I don't think anything too crazy will happen at this point. They're long lasting. Uh, they are definitely quite matte, not that much transfer. That's something that is important for you, not for someone that has drier lips, but uh, they are surviving, you know, a couple of meals, a lot of water, a lot of talking today. So. Not a bad lipstick, maybe not my favorite formula, but if there's a color you really like, I would definitely recommend them for sure. And I feel like the lip pencil formula might be a bit more accessible, a bit more like universally 
comfortable than the liquid one because I know left we're kind of getting over it because they tend to be a bit more crumbly and like dry looking so yeah that's my review the final test can I remove them with a makeup wipe or do I need a intense makeup remover so let's try the lipstick side because it was the one that was the easiest to remove on my hand so okay actually you can see that this is what I mean by drying you can see they did kind of dry and accumulate on the inside here. It is still pretty easily removable though, which I think might be nice. I don't feel like I always want to use super intense makeup remover, so that seemed to be pretty easy to remove. Now the liquid lipstick side. <laughs> oh, surprisingly not how hard. I'm wondering if it's because I just ate and drank water but I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Same thing on the inside, you can see that it did accumulate in like crumbly bits, which I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe. More videos on the screen that are going to check out. Let me know in the comment section if you are planning on trying any of these in any specific color, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.